Good morning. My name is Stan Portgeter. I'm that old soldier telling his story. It started back in 1984 on the 23rd of June when me and four of my friends or buddies walked into an ambush. And that day was the start of a long journey that I never knew. But some of them that day died, some of them were wounded. And I was one of the fortunate ones that was totally unscathed. I came out, I went home, we did a following tour to the border where we did our trip. And in that process, I injured my leg, was gas back down, ended up in one more. And in that process, they found out that I was uh, I had a severe case of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and um, then so the, 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 the treatment started, which lasted for about five months, and then my service was finished and I was um, discharged out of the military, being um, medical unfit, and the, my normal life started again, and 30 years later, one morning on the radio channel, on a, they had a story about a doctor that wrote a book about his stories on the border, and he um, was talking about it, and I asked the people to write in and just send them a WhatsApp and tell them whether they've got a, you know, what about their stories and, and what they can say about what they went through, their journey in the military and that, and lo and behold, I send in WhatsApp, and they phoned me that morning, spoke to me, and during the conversation, they picked up that there's something not right with me. And these people phoned me afterwards again, the radio jacaranda, and they decided that they wanted to send me the Good Morning Angels, is what they had or still have today that they help people. And um, they, they decided that they want to send me for treatment and they took the time of the day that day to 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 help me a normal mere mortal nobody knows they don't know me from a bar of soap but they took that time that day to to invest in my life and and to help me to recover and um i went for the courses with the psychologists and erica she helped me very much to, to become a normal person again, live like a normal life. And one day I, I started making these little trophies and that. And then one day I decided that I just want to give back like those people gave to me that morning. And I started making little trophies, which I then gave to her families and friends of soldiers that paid the ultimate price of their lives on the border war. And um, one thing led to the other. I started meeting a lot of people and it helped a lot. And then one day God laid it on my heart that I had to start doing something to give back. and. I just got this, I've always been a, a, a person liking, like doing cycling, riding bicycle and that, and I had a major motorbike accident that damaged my back and I had five major back operations and I've got a dislocated shoulder and me and it has no ligaments, so I was a bit limited with the cycling and that again, so for 30 years I didn't do anything and then I decided one morning. I want to ride back to Angola, uh, oh, to Namibia, to, to, to Odangwa. If I, and in the process, I want to raise funds for the soldiers, the veteran, the war veterans that's struggling today. And in that morning, say, while I was doing that, and I was busy, and I came up with a name, wear it for the wounded. Because there's so many of these people out there like me.
that was wounded and that's out there that was left they've got nothing nobody to help them no means of, of, of recovering or, or, or getting help and in the process I realized but there's just as many women and children out there that's also wounded that's in the it manages and that with these veterans and that gets ill-treated that gets abused and I also want to help those people so this thing can stop because this is a vicious cycle that we need to stop because none of these people deserve it and I came up with this idea and I want to ride back to Odangwa where it all started, where my journey started, or where my life was changed in Okunkolo on the border when we walked into the ambush. And I want to cycle, and I've started this thing, and I'm starting the 7th of May in Pretoria, riding two and, a th two and a half thousand kilometers back up to Odangwa with my trike, my cycle that was made by a friend of mine that's the owner of Dad Hole. He makes and manufactures um, golf carts, but he went and forth and he made me a bicycle that I can ride with, that I can fulfill this dream of mine. And, you know, I just want to get back. So I just want to ask you guys if you can maybe be so friendly and just make a pledge and donate a few rand or dollars or pounds or anything just that we can help these veterans that we can change make changes in their life maybe give them a new wheelchair maybe crutches maybe a amputee leg or a arm or a hand or something something simple or even if it's just medicine and that we can raise funds to help organizations to help the abuse against women and children that these things can stop please that's all I'm asking. Hold with the heart, Miles. If you guys are willing to just support us. Thanks.